Well, hey, McFly subscribers. So I have a little update for you. Uh, today I go in to get my stints out uh, of my nose and also the packing. At least that's the plan. Um, for some of you that don't know, I just recently had surgery about 10 days ago. I'm still actively bleeding, but um, it was a major surgery. So they went in and sorry, I'm talking it's like I'm stuffed up, but that's because I have stints in my nose and packing and it's all, it's like a, it's like having a major sinus infection, right? Uh, I'm staying at my parents' house. Uh, well, actually, their RV. They own an RV. They came out and stayed in the RV park next to where our RV is. And I'm staying with them because if the kids bump my nose, uh, it could ruin everything. So I've been staying here. Um, and my wife's been watching the kids. Um, anyway. So today, uh, I, I had I had surgery. So what happened was um, I had uh, a growth in my sinus. So this is for some of you that don't know. Many of you do know already because uh, I, I said it. But for those of you that don't know, I had a growth in my sinus that um, basically was taking up 85% of my sinus cavity. Um, also, uh, I had a deviated septum and there were some problems with the other sinuses. So there's multiple sinuses. There's the maxillary and then there's one's other parts of your, your face. Every single one of my sinuses had issues. So um, it was a very extensive surgery. It wasn't just a simple surgery. Um, so the doctor said this is going to be pretty bad for a couple weeks. Uh, you're going to feel pain for a couple weeks uh, because it is so extensive. So they, they went in and they removed bone and also um, some tissue and stuff and some of the other sinuses um, all over. Uh, they also took out that that um, that growth. I'll find out today um, if it was cancerous or not. Sure, it wasn't. Um, the doctor said more than likely it's not, but we will test it. Um, and then uh, I'll have the stench removed as well. Um, but they uh, um, they removed a bunch of polyps. Supposedly, this is some of the most amount of polyps the doctor had ever seen. He said that he's been doing it for like 35 years or something. And he's like, I've never seen this many polyps. It, the, the surgery was four and a half hours. Should have been about three hours, three and a half. Um, but it took four and a half because of all the polyps. He had to remove them individually. Uh, so many of them, he said he wasn't, he, he was really surprised at how many there were. Uh, so it's been a long road for co recovery. I am starting to feel better. Today is like one of the best days I've felt. Um, and, uh, but again, they're going to remove that packing. So now I've got another three days of bleed uh, a possibility uh, because the packing is being removed um, kind of tears out uh, you know where it was growing into your 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 uh, it's not gonna be pleasant uh, for sure it's probably gonna hurt a lot uh, but at least I'll be able to breathe that's like basically the final part uh, I do have to go back every week or so for the next couple weeks uh, I think three more times after today and they just check it to make sure and then they'll have to uh, um, do something where they they basically cut away some like uh, scarring if that ever happens which won't be fun either um, but that'll help keep the situs normal um, I also have this rash going on unfortunately um, that just kind of happens I guess with the surgery they said hopefully that goes away soon um, but it's been pretty painful I am still actively bleeding but but that's what's happening today um, I'm not going to be making videos. I did make one last week, even though I, I was after the surgery, but that was a video I had actually made before the surgery. So I won't be able to have one coming out this week, um, fly tying or fishing, and probably not next week. We'll see how I feel, but I'm not allowed to even lift more than like five or 10 pounds because of risk of bleeding, um, uh, because stitching can come out and stuff like that. Um, so I can't really do anything. I have to just sit <laughs> and do nothing, which stinks because I'm one of those people that likes to do. Um, I like to just constantly go and do stuff. And um, it's been a real test of patience, honestly, uh, right now, just sitting, doing nothing. I have to sleep in a chair sitting up. I can't lay down, which is really uncomfortable as well. So anyway, um, enough pain involved. Um, there's been some... Uh, <laughs> enough talking about pain. Uh, there's been some really good things. Um, I appreciate all of you. A lot of you have been praying for me and I really appreciate that. Um, I do feel like um, I've been improving a lot and uh, your prayers have been helping, um, at least uh, been helping me uh, feel um, 
uplifted in a way. Uh, but it's but they could be uh, you know happy to see you guys constantly say that you're praying and stuff. So I do appreciate that. Um, so uh, that's what's going to happen. Uh, probably about one or two weeks of no videos, and then I'll get back at it, guys. But this is a long, long recovery. They told me three week recovery um, at least. Um, could be a month. Could be two months. He said it could be a long, long time, and I'm going to be sensitive here for like a, like a year. So if anything bumps me on my nose, it's going to be really painful, um, if not detrimental. So I'm going to have to protect my face a lot. So um, really going to have to be careful with fishing, doing nothing really extraneous. Um, and uh, it's, it's just, yeah. Um, so the doctor did a great job, though, I will say so really really uh happy with what he did uh because it's so much it's so extensive i was so worried i called the doctor's office i was like i'm still bleeding it's been like eight days and i'm still bleeding coming out of my nose uh today has been a lot less so that's good i don't have my little i had this little thing that goes across my nose to keep the dripping from you know getting all over and so that's i'm not having to wear it today it's not dripping out of my nose um, i just recently cleaned it up but um uh, you know, it's not like actively like bleeding as much as it was. It's still there though. So I'm still spitting up some blood and stuff, um, you know, and, uh, stripping down the back of my throat a little bit, but, um, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> but it's stopped mostly today, but I was called and I, the, the lady was like, um, well, you had a lot done. I mean, they had a lot going on back there. You're probably gonna be bleeding for a couple days more. Um, if not a couple, you know, might be like up to a month that you'll still have some bleeding. So, yeah, anyway, um, a little frustrating for me is my nose is a little different, of course, because they fixed the deviated septum. They had to do so much. They did fix my nose a little bit, not as crooked, but it's also a little different. So I'll have to get used to that. We'll see. I don't know. It doesn't seem that much different, but it's definitely a little different. The swelling is still a little swollen, so... It'll shrink a little bit, but I don't really care what I look like, honestly, guys. You guys know this. I'm, I don't really care. I just want to make sure uh, it's all functional and so I can actually breathe. But apparently, I guess I wasn't breathing before very well through my nose, and uh, but now I'll be able to take deep breaths. I can't right now. It's just filled with blood <laughs> um, and stints and packing and all that. But um, hopefully, after today, it'll start getting better and I'll be able to breathe so anyway that's what's going on guys i've done some instagram posts on it and stuff but i just don't want you guys to wonder where i went and think i disappeared here so i am going to continue making videos for those of you that already know this info or don't like me doing channel updates sorry um it is what it is you didn't really have to watch it uh but a lot of you are going to wonder you know why i'm not making videos so this is the reason um and so um yeah but i will get back to it soon guys i will get back to it soon and i'll start making videos as soon as i can um, i'm still waiting a lot of you want to buy some flies from me and i do plan on doing that i'm still waiting for the government to get back to me on my uh, license on that so my seller's license hasn't come in and uh for since i moved here to texas got to change things out i'm still waiting on that so we'll see once i start getting a little better here and i'm getting closer to where i can start selling those flies i'll give them a call and try to figure out they could rush that process, but it's been over a month since I turned in the paperwork. So I'm getting on that, guys. I'm trying. So bear with me on that, but um, we'll get this rolling and I'll be able to sell you guys flies. You'll be able to watch my videos soon here again, too. So um, anyway, keep praying, guys. I really appreciate you to have. And um, I'll see you guys on the next video. And in my, my stay here, you guys go catch some fish for me. All right.